Good morning, it is Tuesday and I'm just finishing up getting ready for class. It'll be fun. Afterwards, I have a little hot yoga class planned with my friends. And then this week, I have to spend preparing for my first pediatrics exam. That is a little thing. I still feel like I'm not quite in the school mode, but that's what this week is for. So if a child has a condition that puts them behind their peers, exam tomorrow? Always ready. What are the three eyes? <laughs> uh, injury, immobility, and intake changes. In wow. Yeah, they are. Oh. So basically that sounds like a hundred to me. Yeah, pretty much. Just another day in nursing school. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs>
um, I took my exam, went well, which I'm so relieved about because it kind of set the tone for the whole semester. I've been working literally all day um, on school stuff. I had lecture this morning and I just woke up a whole different person. It's literally what sleep and drinking water will get you. Crazy what it does for you. <laughs> um, I went to my 9am lecture, then I finished re-watching another one of my lectures, and then I watched another supplemental lecture that we had from last week after our exam. It was take home because they changed the format of our class, so after our exam, we could just leave, and then, because we used to have a lecture after. So that was really nice that, you know, we could have that break and not just force ourselves to absorb all this new information after we're just like exhausted from taking this our exam. So, got all of that out of the way, and... Then I also did two assignments, again, crazy what sleep and adequate hydration can do for you. I also got these new pimple patches and I love them. They're so fun and blue, but unfortunately I had to use one, but at the same time, I had a good timing, so look how cute. studying. I really just feel like these last couple weeks have been so busy. Exams have kicked off semester full force. I feel like I'm just in this limbo of I want academic success but I also want to enjoy my senior year and of course everyone wants that in between but I think to be able to achieve that you have to go through the process of figuring out how to have that. If that's something that just comes naturally to you I'm so jealous, <laughs> but I think that there's just so much emotion tied to your senior year and also the kind of impending doom feeling of knowing that you're not going to have the same accessibility to all these people that have made such a big impact in your life and who you want to keep so close to you, but you just feel like you're less than a year away of not necessarily losing all of that but it changes and change is scary and okay, you are also either senior in high school or a senior in college or anticipating change in your life i think it's one of the hardest things to acclimate to or it's just something that you can be prepared for because it's uncomfortable and i think yes that is where the most growth happens for yourself but at the same time, when you're in the process of growing and changing, it kind of sucks sometimes. <laughs> anyway, that was my rant. I'm still trying to figure it out, and the semester is only half over. But at the same time, the semester is half over already, and it feels like it's been three weeks. Maybe I haven't felt like it's been th only three weeks because it's, I'm exhausted, but eh, it's part of the job. Another part of the job. Because I'm here in New York, I have to be shopping because what would I be doing if not taking advantage of having every store possible that you could possibly want accessible to you within either a train ride or walking distance, so mini haul. <laughs> Actually, one of them's online, but mini haul. I went and tried on stuff at Paloma Wall and... This was my mother was visiting treat to myself <laughs> and also 
post exam doing well on my exam post exam self treat <laughs> anyway so i had to place an online order at, in the store because they didn't have what i wanted in my size there so when i went with mariah to get her ears pierced we also went and picked this lovely little package up and don't mind my pimples don't mind them they're just they're just here oh, i'm so excited And look, this was this is such an interesting bag. But it's like it's cute. But I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> anyway, talking to this camera is very cathartic, so if journaling seems too daunting, you should just talk to your camera. But I'm sure lots of you out there have videos of yourself talking to yourself in your photo booth right now. So this is a reminder to go rewatch those if you have those or like old snapchat stories i was on the phone with my parents today and i was telling them how i picked it up today because my mom was with me when i bought it and they were like oh did you open it and i was like no i've been literally so busy i haven't had the chance to open this package i've been waiting a week for and they were like oh you should open it <laughs> and also make sure that they sent you the right thing and i was like you know what you're right <laughs> I should totally do that. Ah! Thank you. on the wall. Mm. I'm so excited. And I'm very lucky. The transitional fall weather is has allotted a few warm days in this next week. So, I'll be able to wear this shirt. Oh my gosh. Okay, reveal time. This is the shirt. It is like asymmetric and it has this like shimmery mesh detailing on the sides. Like, are you kidding? Are you kidding? <laughs> it's so pretty and so beautiful. I'm so scared to wear it. But here's the pretty tag. I'm obsessed. I wish I could wear this every day. <gasps> oh, okay. That is, oh, okay. Now I have to study because <laughs> I gotta deserve to wear this shirt. So, wow. Now am I excited. Next thing, it has a cool story to it. So basically, we were waiting outside the Puma will pop up and I was with my mom at the time and she, we were looking at the bags in the window and we were just like in awe because we both love fashion and clothes. And then she was saying that it reminded her of this bag that she had when she bought, like it was the first bag that she had bought like ever when she started working and she convinced one of her coworkers to also buy this bag because they both loved it. And I like, I was like, oh my gosh, like what's the name? And it's Foley and Corinna and she was like it was just this like iconic bag of like our time when we were younger and she showed me what it looked like and I was like wait this is actually so cute and then I saw that they were selling that someone was reselling it on thread up and I was like wait maybe I have to have it so it was a really good price and I can tell with my mom we would both have bought it around the same time. So history repeats itself. Hopefully it'll be great. The only thing that scares me is that like I didn't really get to pick it out in person. It was vinyl sale. So I'm really hoping for the best this one. But let's open it. OMG. OMG. Wait, it's actually perfect. <laughs> I can't contain my excitement. Okay. I always get so stressed thrifting things online because I'm just like, it could actually just, I just could have wasted like all my money. I don't think that was the case for this. 
I do have to kind of figure out how I want to clean it, but this is the bag and it is this like worn leather secondhand, but it's kind of have, it has like this like oil leather sheen to it and oh, it's so cute. And so like you can carry it with this and it's just like this massive bag you can throw anything you want into. But then you can also attach this strap and then you put it over your shoulder and the bag, it folds over itself like that and it becomes a little shoulder bag. Anyway, I'm very satisfied with this purchase, although I'm not sure how sanitary this is right now, but I'm in outside clothes, so it's fine. That was so successful. And it has a zipper pocket. What more would you need? I'm gonna just spend the rest of my evening unwinding and enjoying my little new purchases. Mm -hmm.